It's a bad day for Prue. It's annual bath day. works though that's some good news yep but we've definitely got a leak somewhere the water was fresh not salt so we followed the fresh water pipes back through the boat and used cameras to get into the difficult spaces <sighs> so Beverly's uh, doing contortion 101 one of the many jobs that you have to be able to do on a boat is can be a contortionist yep. Uh, so while she's doing that, I I am sorting out all our tins which are in the bilges because of course they have got wet. This is why you take all the labels off them. Exactly why you take the labels off. I don't know why but I must have um, forgotten to take the paper off but you can't really tell, obviously, in the video, but I can tell that that is quite damp. And it's one of the reasons that you just, you have to um, remove all paper. Um, plus, of course, um, insects like to live in this area. Now, we are in a cold area, but one day we can always dream. <sighs> the only problem with... Um electrical bilge pumps and manual bilge pumps is it doesn't get all the water out we've um, had the electrical bilge pump running and we've still got water in the bilge because it just never gets down low enough so this is where you need a um, good dinghy pump um, that really helps and uh, comes to your rescue and um, after that it's sponges some good news I've found the drip Oh, it's going into the hot water tank. Yeah, see, look. Yep. Yeah. So. Right, so we're going to fix that now. So, yeah, this is our drip. And then Bev's going to put the pump on. And you can see that it's increased the drip. So, our initial solution, which was to turn the pump off, does have some effect. But it doesn't stop the drip altogether. Well, while I'm cleaning out the bilges, I thought I'd give my my uh, keel bolts a good polishing. Get them all nice and shiny. Right. Look at that. Well, I think we've sorted the leak. Hopefully so. At least our bilge problem did not get out of hand, like this pair unfortunate. So then, Gator, what's happening today? Well, we've been shopping again, and uh, this time we have been buying some bits. So let's see. You're using my kitchen knife again, aren't you? Possibly. That's my second best kitchen knife. Yeah, well, it's also a very good kitchen knife. It's very sharp, which is what I love. Oh, it's like a pack of parcel. I've just done the first layer. Let's see where we're going on the next layer. To see exactly what it is Bev and I have been shopping for. Uh, shouldn't do that at home, should always do it away from you. Oh, it's bubble wrap! We've bought bubble wrap! Yay! Oh my gosh! Shiny stuff! Hey, fixings! Oh my gosh, look at those! Ooh, there's a project coming up, I can tell. I know, but that's what we're going to do. Project time! Um, so we got another one that uh, says to be delivered to the marina care of Salty Nuts. Lovely. Um, this one is nothing to do with stainless steel back fittings. And yes, I am using my second best kitchen knife. So. No, we have not been buying 
tons of CT1. I suspect it was just a convenient box. in here from Bimble Solar. They are getting no benefit of this. In fact, well, they are getting a benefit. We paid them a fortune. Um, <laughs> yeah, C -screw. They haven't paid us anything. We've paid them. Yeah. Uh, and the same for C-Screw, where we got this lot. Um, oh my, there is a tube of TT one in there. Well, it's amazing what you find out. Uh, we've also purchased a little brown box. Um, oh, all right. The little brown box contains A little plastic box with two cable glands. So, okay, fair enough. So a bit of a disappointment there. I'm sorry. Um, we have a Victron a smart solar controller. I think you can see where this one's going, can't you? Yeah. Um, a breaker switch, which we can install on the mothership to disable the aliens when they come. Um, I think they're connectors. A piece of mild steel and a long cable with some connectors on it. So that's what's in here. And um, And uh, of course, we need something to connect up to this. Fortunately, however, I can magic it out of thin air by clicking the old fingers. So that was easy. Now let's have a look at these. Whoa! It's very flexible. Well, you did say you wanted flexible. I know, but it says do not bend on the thing. I don't see why. The damn things wobble around like you wouldn't believe. Look. Yeah. The reason we got flexible is more to do with the fact that uh, we need to woman handle these. We do. At, at we, quite a height. and uh, At least this I can lift. Yeah, we can lift this. And uh, for that, us, uh, uh, that's an important consideration. Very much so. I'm just going to turn it out of the light. I don't want to generate the voltage just yet. So we have two of those, and it's wider than I thought. Uh, half a metre it's supposed to be. Well, let's hope it is. Well, it's, we'll have to do as it is, Bev, that's all I'm getting you. All right. A feral number of nice shiny steel things. Yeah, so I've got uh, 12 T-pieces, uh, two 60 degree uh, deck fittings, um, this goes on the end of the pipe and two of them will be going onto another um, pipe so we'll go on that whereas the other two will be going onto this deck fitting here so um, we've got four of these but two of those and two of the deck fittings we've got two uh, 60 degree angles um, for a pipe. I've got four corners. Oh, what's this? Oh, right, go on. Four corners. Four corners and 12 T-pieces. Mm, shiny. So that is what I have bought and on top of that I have got lots of pipe. Yes, the pipe is currently in disguise at the minute but we'll get right to it later. Yeah. Alright, if I was in the Alien movies, Ripley would have something to worry about. I say we need to take off and nuke them from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. <laughs> Bring on the Aliens. Da, 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 da. These are our stainless pipes that we've ordered up. They're all still bundled up together, but we've either under-ordered or they've under-sent because the one meter sections, which is this stuff, as you can see, we've got two of them in here. And we were expecting five, we think. So something's adrift somewhere and Gainer's gone off to check. 
When you're doing an order, it's very important to check uh, that you've got everything. Uh, because Beverly and I had ordered five one metre lengths, um, but we've only received two. So I've just been on to Sea Screw and they're going to be sending me the um, remaining three one metre lengths. Um, but it'll be going in the order in the dispatch tomorrow, so we won't be getting it until um, at the end of the weekend. So, um, but we can still construct quite a lot of the arch without the extra bits. They were uh, for reinforcement on the sides, so we can connect, do that. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. But it is very important to um, check your orders because, you know, things go astray. Bev's uh, cradle in operation and uh, it's um, apart from the fact it's starting to rain now um, you know it's getting us to um, be able to sort everything out uh, but it's taking the strain and we're not so I think that's brilliant Bev's cradle is great We popped on to the local DIY store to buy some more stuff. Alright Gainer, so what is this stuff and why are we dealing with it? Well basically it's a, um, a wall, uh, but for us it's actually going to be underneath our solar panels. Now the features that Bev and I really um, want is because we're going to be lifting it above our heads, we need something that we can lift quite easily. Um, we also want something because it's on the boat that's UV protected and has got some uh, is UV stable. Um, and then um, the only other thing that we need to uh, think about is um, we need some kind of spacer. Uh, but we'll be able to make manufacture the spacers out of the actual spare that we have on this. So should be a good job. The fact that the panel did not fit in the car was easily fixed. We love portable power tools. So now that we have the starting of our frame in place, uh, what we're doing now is we have a brace which is going to go in here. And as you can see, Beverly's getting that sorted. So, um, and she's having to use the angle grinder because um, the steel is actually much tougher than our blades are. It went through the blades on the... Um... It went through the battery. Can I have another one? Oh, it's gone through the battery already. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. But anyway, I'll go and get you another battery. Mm -hmm. 